All right, guys. So today we are gonna clean up all these joints in here. And this is all drip through from when we glass the other side. Uh, when we filled the joints, we had a little, couple little gaps and it's where it dripped through. So it's all gonna get cleaned up so we can start to prep to glass all these inside joints. Um, what I'm gonna do for now is I'm only gonna do the first like eight feet here. Uh, I'm leaving the build frames in place to hold our hall walls kind of where they need to be. Um, so I'll do the first eight feet. That'll allow me to glass everything from basically this bulkhead here forward. Um, at that point, I'll be able to install the first bulkhead, which is actually at the front edge here of this two by four. Uh, I just kind of do that as a reference for myself. Um, so yeah, I'll be able to install that bulkhead at that point. Um, and then from there, I actually have to remove this first build frame to install the main bulkhead, uh, I think it's bulkhead number two. It's the bulkhead at the helm, um, the front of the cabin area. So that'll have to get removed. And then from there, once that bulkhead is all in place and everything's glassed, I'll be able to remove the rest of these build frames and install the final uh, large wall bulkhead. And then once that's all done, all the intermediates can go in, the floors can go in, and yeah, we should be cooking, cooking with fire then. So uh, I'm pretty much gonna throw you guys on time lapse. This is really just a, a down and dirty job. Uh, I'm gonna suit up, respirator, gloves, uh, long sleeve shirt. I'm already sweating and I haven't even started. Uh, yeah, so everything we can do to kind of cover ourselves from the, uh, the glass dust. All right, well, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, enjoy the time lapse. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. We're back to fiberglassing. It's been a while. It's definitely been a while. We kind of forgot what we we're doing. Not really. Yeah, we are using. Guess what we're using? Total vote. Two to one epoxy awesome. resin with slow hardener. Because it's actually hotter in the tent. What is it like 75 in there? Yeah, give it take 70, 75. With silica thickener. And all our lovely tools. Peel ply ready to go. I'm gonna cut the fiberglass to length. And yeah, just go for it. We're gonna fill the seams first with thickened epoxy. Yep. And then we're gonna go wet on wet with our layup. Yeah, the best we can. It might set up a little bit, but wet on wet for uh... Nah, we'll be fine. With slow hardener, it should be fine. It's gonna to be tough for me to really get video inside there because everything's kind of down in a hole. So uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll set up a camera the best we can, but no guarantees on footage on that. But uh, yep. again, you guys have seen us lay res uh, glass before. Um, basically, we're just doing seam tape on the seams, so the tape is six inches wide, and that's all that's required. Uh, one layer all the way down the seam. Uh, obviously, we're gonna fill it with thick epoxy, glass over it. All right, guys, so we are getting ready to glass the inside of the hulls. Um, everything's just about clean. Just got to wipe it down with acetone. Sanded everything the other day. It's all prepped. Cassie is outside. Don't know if you can see her out there, but she's outside getting ready to start uh, pre-wetting the glass for me. Um, yeah, so we're going to give this a go. Try to get it all done today. At least this front, like, 8 feet, I think this is, 10 feet. Um, if we can do that, we can start installing bulkheads.
This is the stuff you gotta deal with when building a boat. Yep. Lay that down, good. Yeah, I'm just gonna, there's a couple little spots where I could dab up with a little bit of this resin and uh, I'm already to start mixing the other side. Cool. Looks pretty good, right? It's been a while since I've had resin all over me. I know you missed it. I kind of missed it. <laughs> well, it turned about 100 degrees in here real fast, so everything's picking really, really quickly. Yep. So we're just going to do one batch at a time. That's it. I'll just go nice and slow the whole day. Alright guys, so we have just finished glassing all the seams on this front section here. Uh, I've been about 8 feet back, I kept it just shy of this, uh, this rear build frame here. Um, we're going to have to glass everything else, so it's not a big deal when we remove the build frames. We'll just continue on uh, 8, 10 feet at a time, uh, probably do the whole boat and two or three more goes. Um, we'll just overlap our joints, everything should be good. Um, so everything's still wet, so I'm not going to climb back in there, but it looks really good. Uh, we filled it all the corners, and the little gaps we had. I, I radiused the outside edges last night with the sander, and uh, yeah, don't mind the little specks of dirt in there. I did everything I could to uh, leave it out of the boat. I even took my shoes off. So we didn't end up using the peel ply. yeah, we didn't end up using the peel ply. There's going to be a few spots that uh, these joints will be seen, but. Uh, we're using a non-blushing resin, so as far as going over it, just a quick sanding is really all it needs to uh, to rebond. Um, and then the sections that are going to be seen, um, it, it'll take very little fairing to actually to straighten that out. Um, everything, um, basically, this is the birth area here. Uh, so on that side of the, the hull, there's actually a, a bedboard, whatever you want to call it, but it, it fills that void, and that's what the mattress sits on. Um, over here will be seen uh, and again we can just figure that out quick uh, down in the bottom here the floor comes up to somewhere in this area here uh, comes up to a point and then and it gets wider in the back here as we go and then the rear bulkhead here and then from there back really everything below the floors is just storage um, so really this is like the most area you're gonna see is this section right here all the way up to the top of the, the bridge deck other than that most of it's going to be covered there's a bulkhead in the front over here that goes across and uh that constitute the uh the impact zones on both hulls and then uh the anchor locker in the front the chain locker so yeah but looks good uh everything went smooth uh first batch we did kicked a little quicker than we wanted but uh we found a little bit better method and uh yeah, it's been a while, but it feels nice to be glassing again, so. All right, guys. So, we are, we have glassed the inside of the halls. I think I showed this the other day. Um, 
both halls in the bow were glassed all the way up to the first build frame here. Um, what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to lay out for the first bulkhead. Um, it should come back from the bow. Uh, I have to double check the numbers, but it was like a thousand millimeters or something like that. So it'll come back from the very tip of the bow back. Um, I've run a string across with just some, some weights tied to the end. Um, and what I'll do is I'll, because the bow is actually lower than this spot here, what I'll do is I'll drop a plumb, uh, plumb bob down uh, with my tape measure hooked. It's gonna be kind of a little awkward situation. So I'm gonna have to put you guys up on the, the wall here to see, but. Um, so yeah, I'll pull a measurement back, drop the plumb bob, I'll get marks on the floor. Same thing on the other side. I'll get the string where it needs to be on the top. Um, then what I'll do is I'll try to connect the dots. I'll get myself some good level lines where that bulkhead's gonna go. Um, I'm gonna get some blocks of wood and I'll put tape on them and I'll hot glue them to the side of the wall. Just so when we install the bulkhead, I have something to press against. Um, all my measurements should be to the front of the bulkheads. Um, all the way back, everything's measured from the bow back. So, yeah, that's kind of the plan right now. I did cut some strips of door skin material, so eighth inch ply. Um, what I'll do for the actual bulkhead, um, they're all still oversized from when we glassed. So what we'll do is once I get all my marks, I'll put these against the wall um, the best we can here, and I'll hot glue them together for a template. Um, that will allow me to get an exact fit on my bulkhead without um having to go through the prints um if anything was off slightly when we fiberglass glass the hull together our panels uh anything like that it'll definitely throw those numbers off and i don't want to go by the prints and and have a huge gap i got to fill or something so that's kind of the plan for this like i said we'll put it up against the wall once i get all my marks hot glue pieces together wherever we need and that'll give us our uh, our overall bulkhead size So we're close there. So what I'm going to do now is I'll drop my plumb bob down. And uh, I don't even have to go all the way down right now. I just need to get a good accurate mark on this line from the bow. Uh, once this line is set in place, I can mark both sides. Uh, I can continue on from dropping the plumb bob from there to make sure everything's plumb. Um, I only have to do really a few spots and then I can connect the dots with a straight edge later. actually easier than I thought. All right, so what I'll do is I'll mark the sides here and then I'll drop my plumb bob down. I'll get marks on the floors, on the, on the keels of the hulls here. And uh, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. At least I'll have a general idea. Uh, I can start making my template for the bulkhead itself. And yeah. All right, and I made my mark, my plumb bob was right on my, my measurement. So I want to make my mark with that string, not this one. It's not much, but it'll throw it off a millimeter or two. Again, I'm sure I have a little bit of play here, but we'll try to get it as accurate as we can. So what we're doing right now is I'm just gonna make a little thing so I can get a little more stable here. Um, this lady said kind of lowered, so. Cassie is inside trying to edit this week's video for you guys. So, don't want to uh, disturb her too much if I can avoid it. Now our hull was leveled, had to be loaded off the jacks. So I'm not sure if that was on camera or not. Um, we did go through, put the uh, level on the bridge deck, on our forms, uh, our saddles that hold the hull up right now. Um, everything looks pretty level, pretty close, and I will definitely double check everything before we install the bulkheads. You guys get the, the idea of this here. I'm going to uh, on time lapse, get a bunch of marks across here, and connect the dots.
All right, guys. So that actually went pretty smoothly. Um, as you can see, I, I put a two by four just to rest my hand. Um, I did measure again from the bow over. And if you eyeball the string with a line, so it all lines up nice, nice, I can get a pretty accurate measurement. Um, I mean, for an eyeball anyway, of the bow, and I'm still right on my, I'm right on my mark on both sides. So I'm definitely happy with this. Um, again, I'm not sure how well that shows down in the hull. Peel ply is still here. I'll have to remove that shortly. And back down into this hull and up, and then the string obviously is the top edge. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll, I'll start getting my uh, my strips of door skin together. Uh, start hot gluing stuff together, make a good template, and then we'll be able to transfer that over to our panel. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a chance to cut it tonight or not, but at least we'll have the template made up, ready to go for tomorrow. I'd like to have this bulked in by the end of the week. So, yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It doesn't cost a thing. It uh, really helps us out with that YouTube algorithm. So, Alright. What are you doing, bud?